The rain lashed against the window pane, mirroring the storm within Sarah. Guilt gnawed at her, a dark stain marring her once vibrant spirit. The memory of her betrayal, a sharp shard in her heart, sliced open with each panicked breath. Sleep offered no escape, dreams replaying the scene on a loop, her laughter turning to ash in her mouth. Days bled into weeks, the weight of her actions isolating her. Her closest friends, their trust shattered, offered only concerned glances and polite distance. One day, amidst the chaos of her emotions, she stumbled upon a dusty Bible in the attic. Forgotten relics of her childhood faith lay within its worn pages. Hesitantly, she opened it, her eyes falling on a verse carved deep within a familiar psalm. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23 4. Tears welled up in her eyes. Words long forgotten resonated within her soul. Could God's forgiveness reach even her, stained as she felt? Hesitantly she began reading again, immersing herself in stories of redemption and grace. The parable of the prodigal son, a beacon of hope, spoke of unconditional love and acceptance. The words of Jesus, forgiving the woman caught in adultery, echoed, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. John 8 11. Slowly, a sliver of light pierced the darkness within. With trembling hands Sarah confessed her transgressions to God, seeking not only forgiveness but the strength to change. The burden didn't vanish instantly but a sense of peace, fragile yet persistent, took root. Guided by scripture and faith, Sarah began the arduous journey of amends. She sought forgiveness from those she had hurt, not expecting absolution, but offering sincere repentance and a genuine desire to rebuild trust. The path was long, paved with apologies, awkward silences, and hesitant steps towards reconciliation. One by one, bridges began to mend. Forgiveness, though not readily given, bloomed from understanding and shared vulnerability. Sarah, humbled and transformed, embraced the newfound lightness in her heart. The storm had passed, leaving behind a strength she never knew she possessed. The Bible remained a source of comfort and guidance. Words once read through the lens of guilt now shone with the promise of redemption. Sarah's journey, a testament to the power of forgiveness, both divine and human, reminded her that even the darkest storms could usher in a brighter dawn. The rain, a gentle patter now, cleansed the windowpane, and a rainbow, a symbol of hope, arched across the sky.